The news, good evening. All Seychellois in residence who are returning to Seychelles after the 1st of August will be quarantined either at home or at uh, quarantine facilities depending on how risky their country okay. of origin is. Si. Everyone entering Seychelles will also have to undergo a PCR test prior to their departure from the country of origin and upon entering Seychelles. These details are outlined in a new travel advisory published by the Department of Health this afternoon and were also presented to journalists at today's press conference. If you are, however, from a high-risk country, which are not permitted countries, when you arrive, you'll be taken to a quarantine facility for 14 days for quarantine. Secondly, every person, every Seychellois and non Seychellois who are coming to Seychelles, whether you are, you are from the permitted or non permitted countries, you need to produce a PCR test, um, which is 72 hours or less prior to boarding your flight. This has to be sent to an email that will be, is published on our website, not on tourism website. It's called visitor. The email is visitor at health.gov.sc. You have to send this uh, uh, test result. But for Seychellois who are in high risk country, besides the PCR test results, they also need to apply, fill in an application form. It's a short form, it's also online, that has to be sent to pha at health.gov.sc. This is also available online and uh, the reply will be communicated to you if you are from a high-risk country. Uh, the reason being that uh, since people from the high-risk country would have to come into a facility quarantine, we have to make sure that uh, we uh, meet you when you arrive at the airport so that you are taken to the quarantine facility. As for people who, are, who have a resident permit uh, uh, in Seychelles and People who, have, who are GOP holders who've been approved by employment to return, if they are from permitted countries, they may return on the same condition as Seychellois. But if you are from high risk countries, you have to postpone your return. Unless you are, you are working in a critical service that uh, no matter what you have to return, in that case you have to go into quarantine. From what I understand, uh, even if you are from a low risk country, if you transit, uh through a high-risk country, you will still have to undergo the strict current quarantine? If you stay on the air side uh, of, the, of the facility, of the airport, you may not have to go into quarantine. But if you exit the airport and go on the land side of the, um, of the airport, then you, in spite of the fact that you are from a low-risk country, you may still have to go into quarantine. Tourists who have COVID-19 but are uh, asymptomatic will be accommodated in a special facility to be identified soon. This was the focus of the high-level meeting this morning, chaired by President Danny Faw in preparation for the reopening of the airport to commercial flights on the 1st of August. The Principal Secretary for Tourism and La Fortune has explained that a committee will work on the criteria to establish the required standards that the facility should have. She said that such a facility will enable the tourists to enjoy their holidays without being confined to a closed space and with the least interruption possible. So the idea is for us to identify a facility, which would be like a hotel, that could uh, accommodate these uh, tourists um, in order for them to have as much as possible an experience in, in, in Seychelles. What has come out uh, of, the, of the discussion is that we do an expression of interest out there to find out which hotel would be interested to offer this facility. Because as you know, we have uh, 700 establishments and not even a third have submitted the SOPs for them to open. Um, we're hoping that more will do so uh, soon. But there would be a hotel who, who are probably not thinking of opening, but would still want to get uh, some revenue and operate in some in some way. So they would feel that something like this, something that they are prepared uh, to do. So government is uh, has set up a small committee that we will look at the criteria that we need to put in place 
in order to uh, include in the, um, the expression of interest, and that what, uh, what offer the government can make that will, that will uh, allow hotel to apply, and where they will also realize that they will gain something uh, out of, of offering this facility. So that was the focus of the main discussion today. Mrs. Lafortune reiterated that all tourism-related businesses have, which have not been certified as having standard operating procedures should not accommodate or provide any services to the visitors. She said that all potential visitors are being advised of all the measures that should be in place in any tourism-related establishment to prevent the spread of COVID-19 and to keep people safe. Representatives of the Seychelles Employee Transition Scheme sets the Ministry of Employment and the Agency for Social Protection met with President Ford this morning to update him on efforts being made to assist people out of employment. There are three new programs that have been introduced in entrepreneurship, leadership and management and reforestation of Prale. The programs are targeting people who are out of employment including those made redundant recently due to the COVID-19 pandemic. SET's CEO, Guy Morel, said that there are 300 cases of redundancy registered so far, 55 of which are on Pralin, 6 on La Digue, and the remaining on Mahé. Great news is that we've been able to place uh, almost all those cases on Mahé in uh, a work placement. We are fin finalizing placement for La Digue and Pralin this week. In addition to the work placement, uh, we are also targeting uh, three major projects. One is uh, upskilling for the entrepreneurs and small business owners. Yesterday, we signed the MOU with TGMI, and we expect to roll out this program on the 24th of August. Uh, in parallel, we are also targeting the tourism trade. Uh, we'll be rolling out a upskilling targeting those who are already in tourism trade and the idea is to try and move them one step up. But the training is not technical and functional uh, centric. It's, it's going to be management and leadership capability upskilling. Because the, based on our observation and discussion with our partners, we find that uh, there is a gap in terms of management and um, uh, leadership capabilities to actually um, uh, fill the void and also to try and help Seychellois talent to be able to compete with foreign talent. Local entrepreneurs and small business owners can now join an entrepreneurship skilling intervention program at the Guy Morel Institute. 250 seats are available for them. The Seychelles Employee Transition Scheme sets and the Enterprise Seychelles Agency, ESSA, in collaboration with the SCCI, have partnered with the Guimorel Institute to run this program for small entrepreneurs affected by the COVID-19 crisis. Sets uh, Chief Executive Guimorel and the Executive Director of the Institute, Sheila Mohidin, signed an agreement to formalize the partnership. Mrs. Mohidin says the Institute reacted quickly to the situation. A crisis happened, unprecedented. We were not thinking that in July 2020, this is what we would be doing. But, you know, uh, if you cannot change the direction of the wind, we say, we, you change the direction of your sail so that you remain relevant. So this is what we have done. And thank you for being on board for us to quickly develop the relevant program for what Seychelles need as we go through this downturn. And both of uh, SET's uh, training associates, uh, Medna Latulip and ESSA's chief executive, Angelica Apu, have emphasized on the need to, adopt, uh, to adapt uh, to the situation. Most of our, of our entrepreneurs and business owners enter the business world without formal trainings or formations, or which results in having a gap in the middle. So we aim to fill this gap with this skilling intervention, and this is the right period for us to launch uh, this program to ensure that when our people go back to the business world, they are more equipped to face the new normal. ESSA has uh, made available its list of entrepreneurs to set to start recruitment, so all the clients of ESSA will have the opportunity to participate in the program, as well as other individuals and uh, businesses who feel that they need either a reskilling or upskilling to ensure that their business change their 
uh, activities, change their business models to adapt to the change in the economy today. And with this, we end this uh, news uh, summary. Thank you for watching and have a very pleasant uh, evening.